and I've got this goal list of of species this year that I've been wanting to find and photograph new species that I've never really photographed before. And one of those species are wood ducks. He's starting to come in closer. He's starting to come in a lot closer. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. That was amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> those ducks are so pretty. Oh my goodness. So. everyone good morning a beautiful beautiful morning out here I'm back out in my floating blind it has been quite some time since I've used this for wildlife photography uh, I think I only went I think I went this entire summer with just using it once which isn't enough so <laughs> I'm back out here again uh, the other day I was walking along this stretch of river here just looking to see what I could find. And I heard some wood ducks. And so I hunkered back in the vegetation and waited a little while. And I was able to count 16 wood ducks in this area, which is more than I think I've seen pretty much anywhere. They're not a very common bird in my area. I mean, we've got them around, but they're not as common as a lot of the other ducks. So. I'm uh, back out here really hoping to be able to photograph them again this morning. If you followed along with some of my adventures earlier this spring, you know that wood ducks were one of my priority species to photograph this year. And I was able to get out earlier this spring and photograph a few wood ducks. Now I only got a few pictures of them, but the pictures that I did get I was incredibly happy with. I was able to get some beautiful ducks and some gorgeous light. So that is what I'm hoping to continue to do this morning. And I'm really hoping that these ducks come back in. It's been really slow so far this morning, but I'm gonna wait it out, even though it's really cold out here. And it's really slow, there's like nothing going on. Uh, I'm gonna wait it out, cross my fingers, and uh, see what we can get this morning. I'm, I'm just really hoping those ducks show back up and I can get some more pictures of them. So let's wait it out and uh, see what happens. This time of year can be hit or miss in the floating blind. Many species are migrating in and out and through the area. So one day I may see multiple species and dozens of birds in a single area. And then the next day the entire area is quiet as all the birds have already moved on. As the morning progressed, I waited in silence. For hours, I waited in the ice-cold water, not a duck in sight. I was beginning to wonder if I'd see anything that morning, as even the mallards, who are year-round residents, seemed to be elsewhere. And then suddenly, as if signaled by some silent, invisible cue, the ducks came. Mallards from around the riverbend, and a trio of wood ducks from behind some low-hanging branches just across the river from me. I sat in astonishment as what had been a silent stretch of river just seconds before now exploded in activity. Ducks feeding, preening, bathing, and so much more. With a permanent smile in place, I began to focus my camera and take image after image, focusing primarily on the wood ducks. Not only was I able to just photograph these stunning birds, but I was able to do so in beautiful light with the vibrant autumn colors reflecting on the water's surface. The ducks didn't stick around for long, but I made the most of every moment, grateful that I had endured the cold and discomfort for these precious minutes with these outstanding birds.
amazing morning this has been. I am so grateful that I stuck it out out here. There was a minute that, well, more than a minute, there was some time there where I was really tempted to, uh, to leave. There just wasn't anything happening. It was so slow. I was waiting in this blind for hours and just nothing was happening, not even the mallards. You know, it was just so slow. And so I was tempted to get out, take the blind apart, and uh, head on home. I am so grateful that I didn't though. Those wood ducks that came in and the mallards that came in, that was absolutely fantastic. And I got them in such beautiful light with beautiful reflecting colors from the fall foliage out here. Just so happy with the pictures that I got out here. I still need to go home and check them, make sure they're sharp and all that, but I've got a feeling that I've got some keepers in there and <laughs> I am just so happy with this morning. And you know what? I learned some lessons. I was reminded of a few things this morning. So like I mentioned, I was, I was tempted to get out and leave. I was just thinking, you know, there's, there's nothing out here. I'm just wasting my time out here. It's cold. The conditions, it, they're just kind of frigid this morning. <laughs> and I was tempted to leave. I'm so glad that I didn't because all along I thought there were no wood ducks around. So when I was photographing those mallards and the wood ducks came in, turns out they were already there. They were there in front of me the entire time. They were just hunkered back deep in the overhanging branches of this tree just across the river. And had I gotten out of the blind and those ducks had seen me this morning, because I didn't know that they were there. They would then associate the blind with humans. And if I were to come back tomorrow morning to, to try to photograph them and set up the blind and sit in here, wait, chances are those ducks wouldn't come out because they would already associate the blind with people. And uh, I really could have messed up this golden opportunity, no pun intended with the fall colors, but this golden opportunity out here to photograph these beautiful birds. So, you know, a reminder to me that there can be wildlife in front of you and you just don't even know it. So uh, it pays to be extra cautious when out here trying to photograph wildlife, when you're out here using a blind, it pays to just be extra cautious with what you're doing. And uh, another reminder to me, it just pays off to endure a little discomfort to get the pictures that you're wanting. You know, I was really quite uncomfortable out here this morning. It was just really cold uh, before the sun came up. It was just frigid, frigid cold. And there was nothing happening, but you know, I persevered. Patience paid off this morning, big time. And it was just a good reminder to me to uh, endure the discomfort to get the pictures. It's always worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I had so much fun out here with these beautiful, beautiful birds. I'm so grateful that I stuck it out and was able to photograph them. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're having fun out there in your own adventures. Let me know what you guys are up to. I love hearing from you. Love hearing what animals you're out there photographing and what methods you're using to photograph that wildlife. So let me know down in the comments. I always appreciate the support, the comments, feedback, recommendations, all of it. I sure appreciate it. I want to let you guys know I do have my calendars up for sale now, my 2024 wildlife calendars. Go check them out and uh, help support the channel by picking up a calendar for yourself or for some friends or loved ones this holiday season that's coming up on us. And uh, again, I always appreciate the support. Thanks so much for tuning in this week. We'll see you next time. Be safe out there. We'll see you next week.